Think of an optical element, ah, a lens. Finding its focus and putting it into the beam path correctly is easy if you know what you're doing. A convex lens makes a collimated laser beam convergent. It will come to a focus at the focal length of the lens on the optical axis. At least that is the idea. First of all, make sure the lens is the right way round. That makes a big difference. As a rule of thumb, the more curved surface points towards infinity. Infinity is where the beam is collimated. If the lens is misplaced, up, down, left, right, or tilted, the beam is redirected in addition to being convergent. So you could get the idea that this is now the time for multi-axis mounts. But before you spend your money, a simple post and post holder can give the same results and provide more stability. Let's try it. I define a beam path with a pinhole and now I add this 250mm focal length lens here in the beam path. You can see that the focus on the pinhole moves with horizontal translation of the lens. When I rotate the lens, it also moves sideways. Before adjusting the couple direction, I adjust the vertical position of the lens until the beam has the same height as the pinhole. For precision alignment, I would go closer and get a controlled grip. Now the two couple degrees. Back reflections from the lens are a great indicator for rotation alignment. When aligned, the back reflections should be overlapping with the incident beam. Again, a proper grip would help. Once done, I need to adjust the left-right position of the lens and iterate this process until all back reflections and focuses are where they should be. You can push alignment stability even further and use only a simple post for horizontal and your adjustment. Vertical adjustment is done by shimming, adding very thin metal plates iteratively to your post. They might be slow, but once aligned, it's rock solid. Pitch is not adjustable with simple posts, but the manufacturing precision of the mounts is often good enough. Adjusting back reflections as a general tool is very important for all sorts of optical elements. That goes from lenses, wave plates, to filters, you name it. Next time, I'll show you how to align things into the focus of a lens. See you next time.